Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Remind yourself you're doing this for your sake and for the sake of others as well. The more you can develop your own inner strengths, inner restraint, the less of a burden you place on others. Because in the Buddhist way of looking for happiness, looking for your happiness and looking for the other people's happiness, it's not a zero-sum game. In other words, the things you do in order to find true happiness for yourself are going to be beneficial to others, and the things you do to benefit others are going to be good for you, too. The Buddha gives a list of four things you do for others where you benefit. You develop a mind of goodwill, equanimity, patience, and a mind of kindness. You don't tell yourself, I'm suffering so much, I'm working so hard, I don't have time for other people. That's precisely the time when you need to keep other people's needs in mind. Because otherwise, your idea of working too hard or not having enough time, it just eats up all your time, it eats up all your energy. And life becomes less and less livable. So for your benefit, Look after the needs of others. Be kind to them. Develop patience when, they're, when they do things that are dif difficult for you. Equanimity when you realize that there are certain things in them that they can't change. And underlying all this is goodwill. Thinking about their happiness, your happiness, and realizing that your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with theirs. Their true happiness doesn't have to conflict with yours. And the reason we're following this path, one of the reasons we're following this path, is because it's a blameless happiness. In other words, it causes no damage. But you want to be further than just causing no damage. You find ways in which you can be generous. That's what kindness is. You take a little extra t time to give to other people. Think about their needs. Because the other way of translating that word for kindness is sympathy. You think about their feelings. Think about their needs. And you do what you can to help in a skillful and wholesome way. And as you develop these qualities in your mind, you're going to benefit too, because you're going to need some patience and equanimity with yourself. You're going to need some kindness, because otherwise you just do things sloppily. So take time to think of the people around you. And that way both sides benefit.